Gary Guadano had lost hope of ever finding his parents' wedding rings. His mother had died in 2012 at the age of 84, his father in 1978 at 52. While selling his childhood home in Reading, Pennsylvania, in 2011, Guadano had searched high and low for the rings but never found them. He figured his mother, who was in the late stages of Alzheimer's disease, had thrown them out. He was devastated but didn't know what else to do other than accept they were lost and move on. They're keepsakes and part of my family legacy, he told the Washington Post. Days turned into months, and the months turned into years. A decade passed and still no rings. Then, in mid-September, Guadano, 60, got a Facebook message from the woman who'd bought his mother's house 12 years earlier. Hannah Koisher told Guadano that her husband, Josh Martin, had been rooting around inside a light fixture above their kitchen cabinets, trying to find a gift for his wife that he'd squirreled away somewhere. Instead, he discovered a jewelry box. Opening it, he found two rings. Koisher, 33, and Martin, 36, suspected they held sentimental value for someone and wanted the rings to be reunited with their owners, or their owner's family. Anthony and Rosemary Guadano had exchanged the rings when they got married on September 11, 1947. They lived in an apartment until a developer finished building their two-bedroom house on Harvard Boulevard in the early 1950s. There, they raised an only child, Gary, while his father worked as a mechanic and his mother was a stay-at-home parent. They were just two very hard-working people and loved each other very much, Guadano said. In 1978, when Gary was 15, Anthony died of a heart attack. Rosemary started a 20-year career working in the patient transport and supply department of the hospital that had employed her husband as a maintenance mechanic at the time of his death. She retired in 1998 as her Alzheimer's progressed, and sometime before 2011, stashed the wedding rings up inside her kitchen lights. Koisher knew little of that history. But years earlier, she had searched Guadano's mother's name online after seeing it on the home's bill of sale, which led to her obituary. In September, she found it again, saw Guadano's name, located him on Facebook and sent a message on September 19. Guadano was shocked that the rings had been found, but also that someone had taken the time to track him down. I just sat there for two or three minutes blinking into space, he said. Guadano was ready to drive the roughly 40 miles from his home in Phoenixville, PA, to his childhood home in Reading. But Koisher and Martin stepped up again, offering to bring the rings to him. On October 28, they made good on that offer. The three chatted for a while at Guadano's home. Koisher told Guadano of an incident that had happened some 16 months after they bought the house and Guadano had moved his mother into an assisted living facility.